Now, uh, blindfold time, everybody. Are they in place? Yes. Okay. Mystery guest, would you enter and sign in, please? Okay, panel. One question at a time. You have three minutes to establish the identity of our mystery guest, and we'll start the questioning with Soupy Sales. Thank you, Larry. That was a marvelous ovation, mystery guest. Is that because we'd find your name in the entertainment sections of the newspaper? Yes. <laughs> Anita? Would you best be known, would you be known best? Would you best, which are, are you in television? Yes. Henry? Are you, um, in the, uh, comedy field? Boy, that's hard to answer, Henry, uh... It was easy to ask. Easy to... <laughs> <laughs> He's not a man who's essentially considered to be a comedian, but he is a man who is amusing. Arlene? Are you seen on a, um... On a regular basis on a show? Yes. Soupy? Is that a uh, network show as compared to a rerun? <laughs> yes. Nita? Is it a dramatic show? <laughs> no? No. <laughs> Henry? Are you a male? <laughs> Arlene? Are you on a new show? <laughs> well, yes and no. Yes, he what? is on one. Well, let's say yes, yes and that. no. Yes and no, yes. Among others, yes. Uh, Soupy? Is, is it one of the shows, like a uh, summertime show? No. Uh, Anita? Are you tall and, and adorable? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's a yes. Yes? Henry? Yes. <laughs> I don't know anybody in this business who's tall and adorable. But, um, are you on at the same... Uh, at the, now, you said partly news. Uh, yeah, among others. What? Oh, partly news oh, show. Oh, are you partly... Um, among others. Among others. Are you in any way connected with sports? Oh, are you on uh, the Today Show? Yes. Are you Mr. Garagiola? Yes. Yeah. Joe Garagiola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's tall and adorable, and adorable Henry. <laughs> 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 That was another one that was easy to ask. Yeah. <laughs> Tall and adorable. Thank you, Anita. You're welcome. Did you, did you answer a... yes to that or did Larry? I answered yes for him because he was blushing at the time. I see. All, all the way. <laughs> Joe, listen, you've had about four careers, really. You've been a baseball player, you've been an author, you've been a host on television shows, you've been a newscaster, you've been a sportscast. What of all those things is your favorite? I would have to say being a baseball player and playing in a World Series. Uh -huh. That I think is the uh, that's the one thing a, a kid dreams about. I had the uh, I, I played with my hometown team and I played in the World Series and, and that's really the name of the game. You know the bubblegum cards come alive for you in the World Series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now how did you get from sports to where you are now in this chair, for example? How did that happen? Well, I went to the Andy Granatelli School of Speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I started doing baseball in St. Louis, and then uh, Jack Parr brought me east to do uh, his show, and then I, uh, Tom Gallery, uh, who was then director of sports, asked me to do sports here, and, and then uh, did the Today Show, and then I did a show uh, for Goodson Todman. He said, she said, yeah. which uh, is since gone, but uh, yeah. and now I'm doing Sailor of the Century, and it just evolves. That's terrific. Were you always around the clubhouse known as a guy who was fast? Not running. 
<laughs> Talking, yeah. I had to. I had to do something to help the club because I wasn't playing, Larry. You know. <laughs> Joe, thank you for being with us. Thank you. They told me we had five seconds to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> What's My Line is a Mike Goodson, Bill Todman production. Miss Francis Gowns by Bonnie Teller. This is Wayne Howell speaking. Thank you.